Before you begin, assemble the following materials. Powder-free latex gloves. A Phillips head screwdriver. A spanner wrench for screwing a retaining ring for 25 millimeter diameter optics, such as the Thor Labs SPW602 spanner wrench. And a bottle of dry compressed air. Begin with the cube completely disassembled, with all of the parts laid out on the work area. Assemble the dichroic emitter portion of the cube first. To do so, hold the emitter half of the cube, that is, the half with the two prongs at one end and without the large side flanges used to mount the cube in the microscope. Next, determine the reflective or coated side of the dichroic for proper orientation in the cube. If the dichroic has a small linear mark or inscription in one or both corners, the reflective coating side is facing you when the long side of the dichroic is vertical and the mark is in the lower right or upper left corner. If the dichroic does not have any marks, lay the filter flat on a clean white surface and look at the far edge of the glass. If the edge is not easily distinguishable through the top side of the filter, the reflective or coated side is up. If the edge appears white or uncolored, the uncoated or anti-reflective side is up. Lay the spring clip on the rectangular area with flanges at either end facing upward and the locating tab inserted into the notch in the emitter half of the cube, such that the rectangular area where the dichroic goes is horizontal. Lay the dichroic on top of the spring clip with the reflective coated side facing upward and away from the emitter portion of the cube. Position the dichroic between the two upward facing flanges at the ends of the clip. Next, align two openings at one end of the exciter portion of the cube with the two prongs on the emitter portion and then carefully fold the exciter portion over on top of the emitter portion. Insert and tighten the two fastening screws until snug. Place the filter inside the emitter mounting hole with the arrow on the side of the filter pointing outward. Insert the filter retaining ring with the open side toward the emitter mounting hole of the cube. Note that the cube threads are tilted at a 5 degree angle. Begin screwing the retaining ring clockwise, but be careful to avoid cross threading. If the ring will not turn, it is not threaded properly. Slowly screw the ring a partial turn counterclockwise until you feel the threads click into place and then commence screwing in the clockwise direction. Using the spanner wrench, carefully turn the ring while observing its position in the threads and keeping the ring level. Tighten the ring snugly against the emitter filter. Orient the exciter with the arrow on the side of the filter pointing towards the cube and then place inside the exciter mounting hole. Insert the retaining ring with the open side facing the exciter mounting area of the cube. Following a similar procedure used for mounting the emitter, begin screwing the retaining ring clockwise, but be careful to avoid cross threading. Using the spanner wrench, carefully turn the ring while observing its position in the threads and keeping the ring level. Tighten the ring snugly against the exciter filter. Using compressed air, blow off all of the exposed filter surfaces. Your cube is now ready to be inserted into your microscope.